Hi there, my name is Suneil Hilme and I've had this YouTube account for a while and I started with messages and the Lord told me for this coming year to start posting messages again, to post the thoughts that He's give, given me in our times of fellowship, our times of um, just awesome amazing time with the Holy Spirit and while I study his word he gives me new revelations new words of power of encouragement of renewal of strength and he told me to start making videos again so that's why I started making these videos and yeah it's a new year 2014 and it's a great year and awesome year full of power full of God's glory full of the greatness of God in our lives and I'd like to share a word that the Lord has given me to share with you today and it this whole all these videos they're called the light of the day because the word of God is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet the word of God gives you light in every situation where there is darkness, He enlightens your world. And as we are the light of this world, we need to be in the Word of God. Because the Word of God is what gives you that light so you can shine in all the darkness happening all around us in this day. So, He took me to the book of Joshua in chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. And I'll read the verses first, and then I'll tell you what the thoughts were that the Lord has given me about these verses. I've written some things down, and sometimes I'll look at it as well as some words, but I will just share with you from my heart and from the Spirit. Um, from verse 1, it says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses." From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. In these first four verses, the Lord is telling us, He's given us an assignment. He's given us to go, to arise and go where He tells you to go. And He's given us a promise. He's given us actually not really a promise he's give telling us what he has already given gave us what he's already given to us so this means the first thing you have to do for this year is to get up and to receive accept the things that the lord has given you in his word the things that he has promised you take it as it is yours and go out and act upon it that is very important in a life of a Christian. You need to get up, take what is yours, and go forth and do it. Then you have the next verse, it says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amazing. Another thing, when you get up and you go into those promises of God, into the word of God that you've received, that rhema word, especially towards you, about this year, about your life, about who you are, as you go on to battle, as you go on into this life, you may know that you are already a conqueror. Everything you need, everything that will come your way, you have already overcome. Because he'll go with you and be with you. And he will guide you through everything you must do. Everything, every battle that had to be fought, he fought for you. And he has overcome them all. 
If you are in Christ, you have already received, you have already received that, that victory. You have already overcome the world, whatsoever comes your way. So you need to be strong, which will come on later. You just have to stand on that word of your father and know that he is with you always. As Jesus said, that he's with you always into the end of the world. Now, it says in, chap in the next verses, it says in verse 6 and 7, be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper with ever whithersoever thou goest very important here he repeats twice to be strong and to be courageous in the second in verse 7 he says be strong and very courageous which means you have to get up and be strong in everything you do don't give up don't be like a wavering person but be strong and be courageous in the things that you have to do for the Lord. Now, in, in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, Paul says the same thing, to be strong in the power and the might of God. To be strong. And when you look in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10, it says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. You see, and this, I remember receiving a very great revelation about this because a lot of people say, yeah, the, the joy of the Lord is my strength, but I don't feel it that way. I don't see it that way. How can that be? Well, you need to just know the truth and the truth shall make you free from those thoughts because if the joy of the Lord is your strength, when you think about the Lord, in Psalm chapter 2, verse 4, it says that the Lord, he, sits, he that sits in heaven on the throne, looks at his enemies and he laughs at them. He laughs at them. Because he knows that he has already defeated them. So, he sits on his throne and he laughs. Well, the same thing, we have been taken to the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Uh, I think it's, it's in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. It says that the Lord has taken us to heavenly places. So we are seated on the throne with Jesus. There at the right hand of the Father. We are sitting there. And just the same way as our Father does, we do the same. We look at our enemy. We look at whatever the circumstance and we laugh. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you look, when something comes your way, you just laugh it out. That's how you are courageous. That's how you are strong. Because no matter what it is, you laugh it off. Because Satan has already been defeated. Your only enemy is Satan and his cohorts. There is no other enemy. Like Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says. That we have a spiritual battle. And the battle that we're fighting is not against men. 